Yeah, Smart War Games here. Let's check out Wooden Ships and Iron Man by Avalon Hill. One of the late 90 games by them, probably one of the last ones. And yeah, Wooden Ships and Iron Man, as the name indicates, might be a game of Age of Sail. It is based on a board game, which is quite popular. However, research indicates that the computer game might not hold up to the complexity of, of the board game. Are we, let's check it out on ourselves. Yeah, that could be true. In the late 90s you might go for some, for whatever reasons, you might go for a more casual solutions yeah there's a, for example also a game called squad leader by avalon hill and you might think great yes, nobody ever did a nice computer computerized version of squad leader or advanced squad leader it's really absolutely lacking it should as bazaar solutions but i talk, talk about playing against the ai but uh, this game squad leader by avalon hill has that is for us Dumped down action game. Good. Okay, let's see what we have here. We can PBM. The single scenarios. Age of Sail. Being American or the independent states of America against British overlords. French, probably Napoleonic French against Britain. Yeah, so uh, American Patriots, French and Britain. And let's check out the campaign. Okay, that's, yeah, it could be that they go for a similar system like uh, John Teller's Age of Sail. You pick a vessel and then we'll basically, yeah, maybe we can do that. Frigate, sloops, bricks. Pick something small here. The price. Me, Captain, it's Emperor. Carl, not less. There's an island. Okay, there's at least some background story here. Uh, there is a campaign mode also in this JTS Age of Sail, but it's basically some encounters. I mean, you follow also, there's some sort of historical wars. Yeah, and we are running here on DOS. Yeah, so you can play this game quite convenient from whatever system you have. Follow my DOS box tutorial, you will be running those games in a matter of minutes. Good, that is the Enterprise. Everybody happy here, Total Crew 100.
And we spotted something here. A yeah, nice authentic talk. Top say hold down two points off the port beam. Might be a merchant man. Decide to approach. Okay, I like that. Yeah, you have here some choice system telling a story. This that is nice. And yeah, that is identified as a 22 gun British sloop. Yeah, that thing might blow us out of the waters. But she may offer battle like a gentleman. Race the national colors at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Enemy is apparently eager for a fight. Battle is about to begin. Yeah, uh, to be honest, I didn't check that game before stream, so I hope I can manage it, but we will do it live. Human Zang, nice one, this is a great and underrated game. I like it more than Age of Sail even. Yeah, Age of Sail is of course quite a good um, database of Age of Sail battles. It great. Aye, aye, sir. What did I do? Yes, give them some. Good, we have enemy inside. Open fire at 600 yards. Load up those guns. Load them up. The convoy. I mean, that ship is not holding again against our sloop of doom better quit good so that is i guess in turn was it for a button this here i uh, saw uh, uh, even the latterns are authentic this uh, lag filters to indicate left and right or starboard port so they put some research in, yeah, that is really hard to find games that come with really some authentic information on this era. Uh, it's of course difficult to depict this in a nice fashion, but I would like to see more games. So I would like to learn about this. It's not even that easy to find historical information on this, on Age of Sail, on the procedures, SOPs. Uh, that is quite interesting what those Age of Sail navies had for procedures. Uh, yeah, military lingo, naval lingo, but you see some stuff of here. As uh, signaling uh, was of course important, there was no radios or WhatsApp, especially if you operate in like a battle of Trafalgar, uh, signaling was absolutely key. I mean, signaling was still an issue in World War One, even in World War Two. Jimmy, two turns is quite a joke. Not a speed that is basically traveling back in time. Can we make is there something else to do with the wind? Aye, aye, sir. Yes, yes. Jimmy is doing a, a dance. Now broadsiding each other. Yeah, I see too many explosions here on my ship. That hull is not good. Yeah, no load on that side. Perhaps that is even better. And yeah, because that is dangerous to keep a load without firing it. I think for damage control reasons they don't load guns if they are not required. Yeah, because if they hit they might blow up. As they are mixed, basically explosives mixed with uh, gunpowder. That's, I guess, why those guys not loading on the set port, right? Starboard is currently firing at the enemy. Fire the hole. 
For immobilization, sh immobilization shots, it's now too late. We are now fighting for survival here. Why I can't turn is that the wind. So I say it's damaged. Give me damage report. So, no boarding. From boarding to guns. Ah. There's some puzzle here. Do we give me rest on firepower? And maintain our sails for maneuver. And yeah, Jimmy, I need some guys on repairs. Struggling hard here. Okay, I get it. Man of War from Simcan. Yeah, exactly, yeah. We got the new Empire released version of Man of War and then Man of War 2 Chains of Command. Man of War Chains of Command, never heard of that. Is that good? Jimmy, quite detailed ship management here. Okay, I'm doing something to my sails. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah, disengage. Oh, they're uh, coming in from the rear. Your ship has to be captured by the enemy. What? <laughs> okay. You must return to Boston to face court martial. Jimmy, I was captured. No court martial for me. I'm now British. Uh, I will now. Okay, okay. Aye, aye, yeah, shirtless car didn't pull it off. Good, let's check out the scenario. Good man port. Jimmy nice hits here on the sails. Oh wait, they're running some sort of Yeah, but what is very unique for this game, which we basically have in no other age of cell computer game, especially not on an operation scale, is that you have here some detailed management of the ships. Also, when it comes to sales, uh, which was, of course, quite having a lot of importance back in the days, which might require amount of crew yeah, in order to set those sales or to operate those sales. Yes, for example, stuff that you basically in the age of cell game. Has uh, nothing that onto that. I mean, there's some basic sail management, but nothing of detail. But right here is somewhat more detailed. That is nice. Yeah, I'm talking about this. And if you want to make an age of sail game exciting, you need to go into detail. Perhaps even individual ship level detail. Yeah. So I like what I see here. Yeah.
The Donegal received a critical hit. Get some guys on repairs. Okay, that is support. Yeah, green, green is usually port, right? Basically. Man of War 2 is similar in look to Man of War 1 but has more options in game. Man of War 2 runs in Windows 95. And that is basically based on the Simcan Man of, Man of War. Man this French ship. Who is that guy? The Alexandre. Yeah, I want that ship in my fleet. Yeah, I think both visions look a bit quite crazy. The graphics wise, I don't even care for 3D graphics, but I think they over... Uh, I mean, if you zoom in, it doesn't look even that bad. But Eagle Vision. This here, GTA Age of Sa. Okay, that works. Selection sometimes quite annoying. I think the water airframe, if that would be somewhat simplified. Okay. Okay, the Alexander captured us first. Uh, we tried to board them, but they boarded us first. Probably had more Marines on board. But there's still combat happening between those two while the rest of the fleet is bypassing. by coming up connection was made here both ships going kinetic yeah interesting game comes with some detailed ship management that, I mean there's not really that many authentic There's almost no authentic age of say computer games around. Uh, that is something really you if you want to go into detail you might need to look at those board games or miniature games. I never played the board game Wooden Ships Iron Man, so I can't compare it to the board game. Despite what I already mentioned, what I read in, on the internet. But it is nice to see that it comes with some crew management and even sail management, which I really would like to learn more about. 
after reading and watching some Age of Sail uh, entertainment, which is basically not present in many other games, but which I think is important. So. Yeah, check it out, it's running on DOS, late Avalon Hill game. Coming with a campaign mode and single scenarios, you can be either in command of a single ship, focus on that, or com commanding an entire fleet. And multiplayer, single player is an option. Good. Yeah, Mike need to dig more in into the manual, need to find one. And yeah, see.